Back in 1888, the world looked a little bit different. The population of Los Angeles had just reached 50,000. The first railroad connecting Southern California to the East Coast had just opened, and the first motion picture had just been filmed. It was two seconds long. One thing has stayed the same, though, and that's the importance of a safe, loving, and permanent family in the life of a child. That's why Five Acres has worked for generations, helping tens of thousands of children and families in crisis, and with children who may not have any family at all. My mother died when I was a year old. I never knew her. All I remember is a picture. <laughs> when I was old enough to remember anything, I was in a, with a bunch of boys. I left the home when I was 14 and graduated from high school in South Los Angeles in 1937. Most of the kids that were there would have been in big, big trouble trying to grow up without it. It was certainly true with me. When Five Acres was established in 1888 under the name the Boys and Girls AIDS Society of Los Angeles, its mission was simply to give 45 homeless and orphaned children a safe place to live. Today, its mission has grown to provide services for more than 8,500 children and families every year across five counties in Southern California. We have been known for years, probably because that was our start for our residential treatment program. But it's really a very small part of what Five Acres does. And actually, our community-based programs are the largest portion of our Five Acres programs today. We go in when they're still with their families to help the family to function in a healthier way so that they are not removed or separated. And so we are trying to prevent them from coming into the foster care system. When I came here, I was very quiet and withdrawn. I wouldn't really look at anybody. Five Acres helped me with my self-esteem by putting me in a couple of teen groups. I just started talking a lot more. I started laughing a lot more. Now I'm more social, I'm positive, I'm energetic, I'm confident. I think I was in eight placements before I came here. Um, this, I remember this place as being the first time I ever felt safe. I just didn't feel threatened, and I remember always having felt threatened, you know, sort of out there. And, uh, and that stayed with me. All of Five Acres programs are built on safety, well-being, and permanency, so that every child can feel secure, physically, and psychologically. The caring professionals at Five Acres help make sure that every child has a safe, loving, and permanent family whether it's the family they were born into or a family that Five Acres helps them create. First thing you have to have in order to heal is food, shelter, um, those, those are the basic needs. So we always have to meet those first. But what's going to sustain the long-term healing for our children is going to be a permanent relationship. That's our belief at Five Acres, that through a safe, consistent, and loving relationship, those wounds that the child has because of the early trauma will be healed. It's not an after-school special. You bring your child home and uh, all is easy and great. Um, but through the services we offer here, through mental health services, mentoring, parent partners, you can get to the point of um, functioning as, as, a, as a family. I'm proud to work for Five Acres because I help create families. I help stabilize families. I help families stay together by helping them parent children who are traumatized and helping them heal and continue to grow as a family. Family to me means being loved by a bunch of people and knowing that they've got you. My father's father, my grandpa, Grandpa Fred, pulled me into the kitchen of our little house and he shook my hand and he says, when you meet kids and people in your life, I want you to shake their hand and no matter what they say to you, you look them in the eye and tell them you're a hand. We don't know what the world will look like in 2088, but we do know that children will still need safety, well-being, and permanency, just like they needed in 1888 and just like they needed in all the years in between. This gentleman came up to me one day when I was playing by myself down in the Kodiak Lodge and he kind of pulled me aside, I was alone, and he he came up as if he was telling me a secret. He's like, you know, I want to tell you something. I'm like, yeah, what's that? He goes, you know, you're different. Like, you're going to make it. 
you have what it takes to survive. So you just have to have faith and, and trust and know that that's possible. And things are going to get hard, but just trust and know that that's possible. You know, that was the first time I can honestly say in my life I felt that I had hope. And that somebody understood. <laughs> what if that guy said that to every one of these kids? And gave them each that amount of hope, separately and individually. What a wonderful gift that would be, had that been the case. And I hope that you did. I'm feeling hopeful in the next stage of my life. Well, I have no idea what my, my life would have been without it. A safe, caring, and permanent family can change the course of a child's life. Now, as we continue into our third century, the thing that our Five Acres family needs most is for you to be part of it. Five Acres, promoting safety, well-being, and permanency.